Hey guys, somebody asked a question recently about whether they should do a stage, basically go into a company and work for free. So in this particular situation, it was a stagiaire or stage situation where they were going to be doing Node.js. Node.js work, the mean stack, if you will. Something he didn't know yet or was in the process of learning. So he wanted to know whether or not it was exploitation for him to go work for his company for free. So the short answer is if you don't know a tech and you're still learning and you're a junior and you're given the opportunity to go work for a company in a production environment and to work on that tech, this is a gift. This is a gift. Remember, there are people out there who are spending ten, twenty thousand dollars to go to a boot camp to learn this stuff. Meanwhile, you have an opportunity to go work for a real company that's actually doing real work in the field in this technology for free. Now you have to understand, well, two things. Number one, the type of training you are going to get working at this company is going to far exceed what you're going to get in, in any boot camp. Real world experience is always much better than academic experience. This is something, again, I learned initially in my martial arts days. I would see these guys who would do sometimes years and years of theoretical martial arts, the Kung Fu's and the Karate's and so on, but they never really sparred much. They were masters at executing these techniques in the air or rehearsed sets, they call them forms or kata or something. But when it actually came down to fighting, they weren't very good at all for the most part. Same thing goes with coding, by the way. Academic coders who tinker around with code in an academic setting don't really understand the real world of coding. And then when they get out there, if they ever get out there, they're shocked about how different things are in the real world. So in this example, the way you're going to execute code, node code, in a bootcamp environment is probably going to be very different from the way you're going to do it in the real world. I won't get into specifics here because the whole point of this vlog is to say yes, if you have an opportunity as a beginner to jump into a company where they're going to allow you to learn how to code on their time, it's not exploitation, it's a huge opportunity on your part. Let me give you the perspective from the business owner. Now, when I had a web development studio, the original studio web was a web development studio. And I was reluctant to hire junior coders because they take up a lot of time and resources. Oftentimes, junior coders contribute less than what they take because a lot of times junior coders, they don't know how to write code properly. They don't know how to conduct themselves properly in terms of the way they structure the code, they submit the code, so they have to be trained up. And this takes time and it costs money. It costs money to train people who are beginners. So to conclude, yes, it's an opportunity. No, they're not taking advantage of you. In fact, you are taking advantage of them in many respects. At the end of the day, though, if you learn, in this case, your node well, and you show yourself to be a good worker, a good coder, and somebody you can get along with people, communicates well, produces good code, and so forth, they'll end up hiring you because it's hard to find good coders. And so, yeah, take that opportunity.